good turn. We're going to row. We're going to get a beam row. Beam row. We're good. We're good. Okay, head up. Head towards the southern bank of the jetties there. Give us some more throttle. And now we're wallowing. We're getting a beam C. We're just unfortunate that's the way it is. If you've got deep enough water and you don't like the beam C, you can tack kind of like a sailboat does. Uh -huh. But I think we're kind of comfortable. What do you think? That's yeah, not bad. Okay. So we've got about two to three, three to fours, about eight second duration. But you do need to turn a little bit to the right now. And now, whenever you're ready, watch your depth gauge. We're in a ship channel. Okay. What's it say? 31. So we don't have to worry about the channel yet because the channel is a ship channel. It's not that important for us in a little bitty 40 foot boat. So just ride like this where it's comfortable. And remember on the southern shoreline, there's a little bit of a boil in the sandbar. So we'll want to go in between these next two buoys, middle channel, or a little bit to the red side. Remember we talked about red and green instead of north and south. So if you're not comfortable with this speed, give us a little more speed, try it out, or a little less speed and try it out. Now these big rollers are going to start to push us because we're choking. All of this wind and all of this incoming tide is choking in this little bitty ship channel. So I think that improved our roll, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. So you can always play with 100 RPMs faster, 100 RPMs slower, until you find the happy spot for your boat. See the wave picked us up and pushed us? Right. So lovely. February day in Fort Pierce, Florida. So a little bit of rock and roll is no big deal, is it? If you had this kind of wind when you started, what's it going to be like halfway across? Okay, get to the middle or a little bit more to the red side because there's a sandbar on the green side of the channel. Waves in the look, channel. Yeah. Waves look bigger over here. Okay. Yeah, you got to split between those waves and, yeah. the, and the oil that's over on the left side. You're right. Read the water. Read the water. Okay, the waves are changing from big rollers, so they're closer spaced now, and they're actually a little bit smaller in height. And how deep is the water here? 26. 26 feet. And up there in the distance, it's difficult to see because the sun is setting in the west but we've got the inbound range markers that are hard to see right now. You'll see them better at night or you'll see them better with the eastern sunrise. <laughs> 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 
If you want to learn more about navigating, ask Captain Chris.